Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope you're enjoying your holiday season. My name is Donna and we are here with a love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So what do we have? Messages from Spirit. What do we have for you, Cancer? Hunger. So you are hungering for something. You know, when we look at the moon, the big full moon, that wolf is howling at the moon. You are howling or feeling a need or a drive. You are exhibiting a great deal of wisdom at this time in your love life. We always like wisdom, right? It's always better than the alternative. And you're being very patient. So spirit is going to reward patience and your, your wisdom. So let's look and see what we have for the overall energy that you and a love interest are bringing into the reading so i also appreciate i'm so grateful for likes and comments if you interact with the video youtube will push it out to other people so i would appreciate that if you like the video i would be ever so grateful so thank you there okay so what do we have here at the bottom of the deck we have ooh, magician energy you have all the tools cancer you are manifesting your relationship you have the communication skills of gemini the practical skills of virgo that is an unbelievable well it's not unbelievable it, it's right here it's a magician you are manifesting your love we have the two of wands so you and your person of interest are at a crossroad you need to make a decision and what we see here is two people who really want to leave the past behind you want to lean into the future she's leaning into that one wand we see a very cute we see a globe we see a surfboard and we see uh, a VW wagon, which, you know, in the 1960s was the penultimate sign of adventure and fun. And so we see two people who really want to have that with one another. Two of Wands is Aries energy. We have Sagittarius energy. This is reconciliation energy, balancing energy. It really speaks to the fact that you are uh, enjoying the the protection of a guardian angel uh, Raphael and we get when we get temperance it's Jupiterian energy a lot of times when we see this Sagittarius energy we see two very open-minded broad-minded individuals who really would like to make things balance out even up everything make things comfortable happy temperance is you know tempering your own needs and balancing them the the sign of the alchemist very much also magician energy in a different way how does your person view the situation right now well they see you as single ready to mingle and very attractive you look good you smell good you are you're in your element cancer your person this is virgo energy your person sees you as a person who's very abundant they see you as very capable very attractive that you know in the dating world you are right there ready for uh, whatever it is that you'd like to manifest how they view you cancer they view you as a person for whom they're not really sure what you're up to so for some of you if you haven't been speaking with the hunger card I would say some of you are not in contact with your person your person is really wondering about you like what choices are you making uh, are you keeping your options open this is Pisces energy they're very curious they have no idea really what's going on inside your heart inside your head there's a real sense of confusion here in their heart space what are they having okay they are feeling very much left in the cold but for many of you this person did it to themselves because they have their head down they're not looking up they're, this is a five of coins this is taurus energy uh, they may have gotten so caught up in work they might not have made the right choices with you but we have a key we have a, a big old, you know, place to put that key to open that door to gain entrance to the relationship. But this person isn't seeing it. It's feeling lost, lonely, spiritually deficient. So in their heart space, they feel as though they have locked themselves out of your life. How they see the relationship going forward. Nine of Swords, remorse, regret, sleepless nights. This is Gemini energy. There is a dove here, but this person again has their, their face down. Look at these three cards. 
this you know when they see you as having your face sort of pointed downward like making choices then we have this person here with their face down and now we have their faces buried in their hands a lot of times this is a true you know nine of swords is just that that energy i'm going to pull my pillow into the night i want to enjoy the fresh air and i'm still haunted she has her face in her hands crying it's a card of you know deep regret the energy that's hidden between the two of you oh very playful very joyful energy the page of wands is always about messaging it looks as though at a time and again I, I think for many of you you're not talking or you haven't you're at a weird place at least in this relationship both of you want to throw caution to the winds both of you want this new beginning both of you want these adventures you want the stability you want to work things out and you're both manifesting one another the advice of spirit at this time is a hierophant energy traditional values that is taurus energy with sagittarius sagittarius but with taurus energy it's you know what spirit is the advice from spirit is get into maintain a very stable happy relationship based on good values the hierophant is always about higher level beliefs it's you know oftentimes depicted in the rider weight almost as a traditional wedding you know with an officiate but the hierophant energy is what gives us stability Taurus is all about creating stability and so we see that both of you are one another's sort of stairway to heaven to make a music reference but it speaks very strongly to the fact that you're very much a good pair. When we look at the short-term outcome for this week, we have the Two of Swords. Again, I think the two of you are not really speaking. We see that you're in a state of confusion. You know, we see that it's going to re it's going to take patience, it's going to take wisdom, but this hunger is building the two of you have to manifest this relationship. The two of swords is, you know, this this woman sort of the swords the uh, crows are messages, birds are messengers, and it is very much Libra energy, the the energy of balance, and it shows that this relationship got very, very out of balance. And right now, again, to me, this is a no contact card. Oftentimes, there's a lot of caring. There's a lot of desire for something more intense here. But right now, the two of you are sort of adrift in an ocean of uncertainty, and I feel like that's why there's we have a wolf howling at the moon. I feel very strongly that the two of you want each other. So let's see who what the clarifiers are. The truth is always in the clarifiers. It's so amazing how this works. I love clarifiers. So why is a magician card here? Tell us the story behind the magician card, please. Spirit, give us clear messages for our cancer friends. What is going on with this magician card? Let's see what we have here. All right, we have the Innocence of Pentacles. So right now there is a strong desire. Both of you really want to make an offer, not anything too big, not anything overly ambitious, but the Page of Pentacles is very much Virgo energy. You know, just wanting to touch base, wanting to say, hey, how are you? How have you been? What's going on? What's happening? And the reason is the Sun card. The two of you represent the greatest happiness in any relationship that either of you has experienced in your lives. You know, a lot of times we have relationships that are repeating old family patterns and we're unhappy, but we become obsessed with those relationships. But in this relationship, you are manifesting pure joy, pure happiness. You know, the understanding that the two of you are quite good together. The sun is Leo energy. It is, you know, a day at the beach. It's like every time you spend together, there's a sense of fulfillment, happiness, joy, energy. You know, when you leave your, your time with this person, you feel energized, sort of a little bit nicely, you know, roasted like a warm marshmallow, just right. Ooey gooey. The Spirit of Wands, the King of Wands energy is Leo energy again. So you may be dealing with a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. 
energies can be vice versa. We all know that if we watch tarot. But we see that there's a masculine energy that wants to come in, wants to step in and really be a leader and say, let's let's make this real. They want to invest. We have that Seven of Pentacles card, which is a strongly Taurus investment. So we see the Ace of Wands, an absolutely new des desire for beginning in the recent past. You know, when we look at this wand, it resonates so beautifully with the fact that she's leaning on one wand. She knows the choice she wants to make. She's left the other one behind. And so that's what I see energetically in your relationship is that something has been left behind, whether it be a job, a person, some situation, you know, even a thought process can be an argument left behind but both of you want this you both have this energy but the masculine looks like they are about to take action temperance card is my number one card uh as a psychic i am a full-time psychic by the way i spend the majority of my time doing professional readings for people um, both privately and on a platform. But Temperance card is here, and it is about reconciliation. Over the years, I have find it, found it to be pretty fail-safe fail proof. The Two of Swords, though, we have the Two of Swords repeating itself. Right now, it, you're still in this energy of not speaking, but it does say that it's weighing you down. It's creating the hunger. You know, it's, it's really becoming over you know overwhelming to both of you why else is temperance here at this point Ooh, chariot card cancer there you are in your reading i love it honey i'm home you're that person we always have the emperor driving the chariot card somebody very much in command of their emotions but it's coming in very quickly it looks as though you know your person wants to see you right away you want to see them but I love that. Look at the beautiful crown and the two horses are joined with these wings. I love it. The three of wands, that means that both of you have decided that you're you're the exact great match. But the nine of swords says that you're still up in your head about this. So we see some hesitancy still right now. Um, but we also see that reconciliation, which will come to fruition because... The Chariot card is a manifestation card. I'm going to put the Nine of Swords. It's repeating here. Both of you are losing sleep. You're both restless at night. But when we see the card of the Two of Swords, we see you not taking action yet. But the Three of Wands is manifesting. That is, you've chosen. You've gone from this Ace to the Three of Wands, making that choice. Ace, two, three. Beautiful. Okay, and with Cancerian energy, that Honey, I'm Home card is really activating this energy. It looks like you're probably both very single, ready to mingle, but your person sees you. They want to come in with a romantic gesture. Again, now we have the, the uh, Knight of, of Cups. Somebody wanting to come in, you know, nice picnic basket, bottle of wine, you know, upgraded to a nice steed, better duds this person has enhanced their ability to be attractive to you we also get 11 11 the four of wands card really speaking about stability the fours are about building stability the four of wands is all about the two of you wanting to create a home together wanting to create a foundation and that's how your person sees the situation the page of swords says that they have been spying on you and the Wheel of Fortune says that when they have, when the time is right, they're going to step in to that energy. They also see you as very fiery, very passionate, and someone with whom they can have that Ten of Cups happily ever after energy. This is a marriage for pure love. It's not based on anything other than joy, happiness. So we have, you know, these two cards when we get the Sun and the Ten of Cups. It really vibrates very beautifully and very strongly. We also have the Heart of Cups here. There you are, Cancer, in the reading. A lot of strong feminine energy and masculine energy here. Your yin-yang attractiveness to one another is tremendous. Your person is letting go of a burden to manifest you they do feel guilty we can see the card of guilt and remorse here you know we see a lot of energy here that says that they don't even want to face you know 
pretty much what they've done in the past with you for those with whom it resonates again remember this is like a buffet table you only take what resonates you leave the rest a uh, reading is not uh, a personal reading until you're talking to a psychic directly so one-on-one -on -one. okay seven of cups we have the five of swords okay your person really feels as though they treated you badly they were raw. They really, it looks like the movement of pentacles. So your person really doesn't know how you feel, but they're pretty sure that you'd have very good reason to resent them, to really dislike them. That whatever they did that caused them to have remorse and regret, for them to feel as though they don't have the right to contact you, for them to try to, you know, not be able to deal with the truth here, this sort of uh, just inability to look at it. It's now being overcome by this Virgo energy we have Virgo here Virgo here and Virgo here so your person is trying to be very practical and figure out like what am I gonna say to cancer when I come back what can I do they're moving very slowly towards you um, because that's you know they want to have they want to come back in your direction tell us more about the seven of cups why does your person think that you have lots of options not all of them good but they think you have a lot oh they see you as highly desirable so now we have the formal card of twin flame the naked heart is number 22 literally we see transformation as a requirement of the twin flame journey we see that the journey is usually a tough one because it requires two people to really elevate the, spiritually. We see the growth, the heart chakra, but the number 22, 11, 11, your person sees you as their twin flame match. The five of coins, what is this person going to do about feeling locked out and feeling empowered? What are they going to do in their heart space? Ah, the eight of cups reversed, a return. They left, they feel almost as though they left the scene of a crime. They lied to you also. Your person lied to you. They left you in the dark. They didn't tell you the truth about something. When they disappeared, they walked away from you, and now they're returning. So you have temperance and the eight of cups reversed. Your person is returning. They're feeling shameful, you know, head down about how they left. The four of cups says that, you know they took you for granted i really see this as as a as a reader the four of cups is like it's like ignoring the hand of god turning your back on a cup of love it's usually a card that indicates that there was a strong friendship with the three of cups but somehow the romance didn't really culminate but i also see that as a card of being sort of um a card of boredom a card of taking things for granted a card that is the antithesis of manifestation this is a person who's just downright in my opinion ungrateful you know they're not grateful for the abundance that they have in their lives they take it for granted and when we do that and we don't have gratitude we have a tendency to lose you know to lose the love that we have and to lose what we have eight of swords so they are still in this energy the eight of swords nine of swords two of swords they're still in the energy of self-imposed restriction but they want a reunion with you. They want that reunion. That is sentimental thoughts and feelings about times from the past. That is the hunger that's carrying them through. Wisdom and patience, I think, is you, Cancer. The Nine of Swords, why is it here? Ooh, Innocence of Wands, Page of Wands. They want to throw caution to the winds. Both of you want to throw caution to the winds. Your person's really tired of being sick and tired. We get the Justice card. They want to even the scales. They want to make things right. They want to come back. It looks like your person, the Sage. Now we have the Hierophant twice. They want a traditional, committed relationship with you. The card that turned over in my hand is we have... We have the Justice card, the Hierophant card, the Judgment card. For many of you, this person may have been off, you know, they may have been in a marriage or they may be divorced. They may have had a breakup, but it, it looks very clearly as though they have gone through something pretty major. Justice and Judgment together, if you watch a channel with me often, I find that as a 
you know, the benefit of being a reader every day is I get feedback on my accuracy. And I always find this to be a, a legal entanglement with somebody that has been legally released. So for instance, if you're not married, you know, it would be like, okay, well, I was living with my partner, uh, we bought a house together, and now we're done. We've either, you know, if you're if you're married, it's a divorce. If you're not married to your partner, it's legally severing all the ties. A four of coins. They were able to hold on to 40% of their investment, which gave them sort of a real knockout punch. So whatever was happening with your person, they really were not being straightforward with you. But now they want to build that foundation with you. They feel as though they want to be with you. Um, and that's where they're going with this. Six of Wands, both of you and your mutual energy is a victory. That is a card of winner, winner, chicken dinner, as we like to say. And it is a card, Leo energy, very strong Leo presence here. A very fiery desire to be together. Six of Wands is also what I call a very a public-like engagement. It's the kiss in front of the jumbotron. It's the ring that's presented in the restaurant and everybody sees it and, you know, applauds. So it's a it's a vibrant energy and six of wands is passion. Wands are passion. The Hierophant energy, oh, you are best friends. Spirit is saying that the two of you miss each other so much because you know, you've, you've probably spent a long time enjoying one another's company. There's a deep level of friendship. Why else is there a desire for marriage? Seven of Swords, something that was never revealed. Huh. Movement of Wands, okay. So in the past, your person really was never honest with you is what I'm seeing here. Spirit is trying to warn you that you have to be careful with this person because we had the five of swords that they weren't honest with you. Even though you were really good, you were very dear and very special and still are to one another. Spirit is saying that your person kept you in the dark. They brought in a lot of player energy. They were very dishonest and unkind. When we get the five and seven of swords, it's like this person was willing to to take whatever they wanted whenever they could have it. And hence, we have this person feeling very, very remorseful and regretful. So the Two of Swords is, you know, they, they don't want to face their own deeds, but look at what you have. Your outcome is the Two of Cups. So it shows that two hearts are beating as one. Once again, this is a naked heart tarot. I love it because look at how beautiful these two chalices are together. You know, when in the Rider Waite, we see the bride and groom that looks, you know, they look like they're saying their vows to one another. Here we have with the cups of wine, cups of love. But there we go, more Cancerian energy. A death and a rebirth with that butterfly. You know, it's a it's a total redo of the relationship. The Eight of Wands moving ahead very rapidly. Sagittarius energy could be travel, could be making love all night long, but I would definitely keep a fire extinguisher by the bed, baby. It's hot. The Eight of Coins, and I love some eights. The Eight of Coins says that your person really wants to learn a lot more about how to go to the next level and how to have tremendous success with you. Let's look and see what the energy is. So I love this reading for you. It's an exceptional reading, Cancer. Let's take a look and see what this hunger is about. The Wheel of Fortune. So when the time is right, the hunger will be satiated. The Daughter of Wands. So Cancer, I see that as your energy. You have a sweetness about you. You have a tenderness about you that is very wise. You're very gracious. You're very generous. And why do we have patience here for you? We have justice. You're patient. You're patiently waiting for that opportunity to receive the justice. And it looks like you're going to get it, Cancer. So sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. It's really been a joy to be here with you. Thank you so much for visiting. Hope to see you in another video soon. Bye-bye.